Okay, it's our first of, of two mornings in Vegas. Starting out with a run. How are you feeling? Pretty good. The air feels clean. Yeah, it's really like, brisk. What's going on guys? We are here at Town Square Park in Las Vegas, Nevada, and I'm gonna to come to you today with five tips on how to stay more productive when traveling. Okay, so first tip is to find a space that you feel comfortable in that can be a good workspace. Find a dedicated space that you know you're going to be doing work in. And this needs to be done before the trip. Absolutely. Because we've done this once we get there and we're always frustrated because we spend all this time wasting um, on our trip that we spent yeah. all this money getting there and then we're spending you know hours trying to find a good space we could have done when we were home. You know, I think keys for when you're looking for a place is good Wi-Fi, you know, a place that can be quiet if you need it to be, a place yeah. where you can really zone in and get work done because the more efficient you are while you're away, the more you're gonna be able to get out of your trip from like a personal perspective and travel and, and more experiences. Yeah. And there's no excuses of why you can't do this work ahead of time. You yeah. know, all of these coffee shops and restaurants are gonna have reviews, people are gonna talk about the Wi-Fi, all the co-working spaces available are gonna be available for you to uh, research online. We're staying at, we're uh, working at this place called the Regis, which is a co-working space around yeah. here. Super cheap, But there's bucks. things like, there's WeWorks, there's, there's ones that have memberships that you travel a lot. But I think the key is just figure out what it is that you need to work product productively yeah. and find a place and take the action that you need to do um, to make sure that you have that while you're away. And I think everything's fine. Yep. Okay, so the next one is kind of simple, but I think it is very important, and that is to delegate tasks before you actually leave on your trip. You wanna feel like your time is multiplied when you're traveling, and you don't wanna have the stress of not thinking that people on your team aren't getting anything done. So delegate it before you go, so your time's being multiplied while you're away. Obviously, you're gonna be checking in with people, but we say is kind of like, if you even if your trip's a week long, if you don't check in with anybody for a full week, they should have enough tasks to take them throughout that entire week and make sure that no time is being lost. Okay, so you found an amazing workspace and you're ready to get productive. You open up your laptop and you forgot your mouse, your dongle, your hard drive, whatever it is you need to be actually productive and get work done. That's why I started putting everything in a nifty little case like this that I only use while I'm on the road. So I got this one from Muji and it houses everything that I need to be productive and work for my laptop while I'm away from my office. So I've got you know phone chargers, m mice, I've got chargers, dongles, everything I need is in this kit. And everything, and while I'm away, I use it, I repack it in here. When I'm in the hotel room, I can just grab it and go. I don't let stuff just be a stray in my bag to be lost. This keeps you organized. It's, it stops you from having to go to the Apple store and buy a $100 charger. And it really just makes you more productive and organized. Okay, so the next productivity hack is you want to strategically group the tasks that you're going to be doing. So, you, you know, depending on what type of work you'll have, you know, there'll be different things and tasks that you're going to have. So, you know, one could be communication or one could be creative work or more deep work. So you want to think about strategically when is the best time for me to do those tasks depending on where I'm going. So for example, if you have communication tasks, you're talking with your team or outsourcers or anything, you want to think about, you know, when is the best time for me to do those things? When I'm when am I most fluent and most in flow when I'm communicating. Is it in the morning? Do I have more tolerance, more patience for people in the morning? And are they going to be up? What's the time difference of where I'm going to be? Um, so that's what you want to think about is, you know, when should I be doing things like communicating? When should I be doing things like deep work? When am I going to have a four hour, three hour, two hour block away from, you know, friends or colleagues that I'm traveling with where I can get some of that other work done? Next tip, take your routine with you. A lot of people when they're traveling, they feel like they have no routine. There's no structure in their life. If you want to be productive on your trip, one of the things that we've found to be really powerful is if you carry on some sort of routine that you have when you're home. It can be really simple and we say one thing, one yeah. simple thing and it could be, you know, stretch in the morning when you get up or, you know, go for a workout. What we found to work really well is going for a run. Yeah. So yeah, just take one moment from, from your routine back home, bring it with you on the road and you can begin to build out a larger routine around that. You're gonna wake up feeling like a lot less scattered. It's gonna essentially kind of just like prime your day, you know, prime the pump rather than, you know, hopping into a new environment with new tasks, you know, new stimulation cold. I think the best way to describe it is gonna prime your pump. It's gonna make you feel a little more comfortable and give yourself a little bit of routine, which is inevitably going to make um, your stamina for traveling and working a lot better. Yeah. Let us know in the comments down below if you guys have had, if your, 
tips on staying productive, being productive while traveling yeah. um, and working. Uh, I'd love to hear them and uh, absolutely subscribe if you like this video. All right. Okay. See ya. Have a good one.